Bowman here from BW1, and in this video, I want to give you an unboxing, setup, and first impressions of the new Amazon Fire TV and the Fire TV game controller. So these just got announced yesterday from Amazon. We just got them in here today. We're gonna jump right into the unboxing and get things started. So boom, right there, you can see the Amazon Fire TV, the newest, it's a set top box coming from Amazon. It's supposed to be, be, be able to get all your cool content, all sorts of cool, great things on it here. So let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing. First, we should probably take the plastic off. Let's see if that pops off easily. You can see right there. Slide out, all right. You can see around the box, you can see it has uh, movies and TV, music, games. So you can see some of the uh, some of the support that they have with it as well. You have obviously Amazon himself with Amazon and Prime Instant Video, Hulu Plus, Watch ESPN, Netflix. Well, it looks like Bloomberg, Crackle, Showtime. I know eventually HBO to go is gonna be able to come to this as well too and some more content partners are coming. But you have also for music, um, iHeartRadio, Pandora, tune in and you have games such as ea 2k sega they're all going to be supporting that to be pl to play games on it as well too let's go ahead and unbox this here all right so it's pretty cool when they made the announcement because it was uh pretty uh pretty interesting we, we've been expecting this for a while from amazon then we'll come out some type of gaming system some type of set top box and it's kind of sort of what they've done sort of all in one here and it's only coming at about a 99 dollars price tag which is actually pretty affordable so, all right, you see here, we have some, some tape right here. I'll pull that right off, pop that up. You can see, all right, woo, this is a lot thinner and lighter than I expected. We'll definitely check that out in a minute here. Let's take a look else we have here. It's like we have the, all right, so this is the wall adapter to plug it in. It doesn't come with an HDMI cord, so you're gonna have to definitely purchase one of those. They do let you know that they'll, they'll give you one, although you purchase one when you buy it. So we did do that just in case, just to go through the whole entire Amazon um, purchase here. So we did do that. All right, let's take a look underneath here. So here's a Amazon Fire TV remote, you can see. Actually nice, thin and light here, pretty simple. What else do we have inside of here? That's probably, yep, that's probably just about it. Maybe some manuals, guys, instructions. Nope, nope, that's all you get. It's right here, just this here. And a little guide to sort of help you set up the uh, system here, pretty simple. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here at some of the things. Let's obviously start off here with the Kindle Fire itself, uh, Fire TV, rather. All right, have it upside down. Peel plastic off here, really light, and it's really, it's very simplified. It's a just sort of just a black box sitting there, and <laughs> it's really that's all all it really looks like it's gonna be. All right, it actually feels pretty good. Nice weight to it. All right, we do have some more plastic to probably get rid of that I can't see currently on here. We'll come back to the rest of that. We'll actually we'll peel. All right, peels off this way. All right, pretty cool. Peel that off. Let's see what we have here for connections here on the back. You do have your power. Looks like you also have uh, HDMI. Looks like you have optical audio. Yeah, network um, network port. If you don't want to use uh, Wi-Fi, it does come with an Ethernet jack, like Ethernet jack there. And you have one USB uh, port as well too behind here. All right, it's nice. It does come with I know two gigs of uh, two gigs of RAM in it and a quad core processor. Some of the simple specs that they sort of put out about it. it does come with its own dedicated graphics card as well too. So it's going to be able to. Uh, basically render things a lot faster than, than, than when it comes to the menu and interface and such. And you'll see that when we get things sort of set up here. All right, so let's take a look at the remote as well too. Take that out. All right, and there is voice control inside of here as well too. So you can do voice search, which is pretty nice. Let's peel that plastic off. They never really let you, they always stick this plastic on a little bit stickier than they should, I swear, sometimes. All right. Actually pretty light here. See how it's pretty simplified. Looks like you have your sort of your directional button sort of right here. And it looks like you have your it looks like back, home, probably your menu key, then you have your play controls right there. Then you have your voice um, search right there at the top. It's gonna be interesting to see how well that, that works out compared to some of the competition that's out there. Yeah, right. And the set top boxes as far as voice search is concerned. Let's go ahead and uh Take this off, looks like it takes AAA batteries. They're even Amazon branded AAA batteries. It's pretty nice. Let's check that out. All right. Oh, come on. Why is it always this? Always one of them doesn't like to come out of that plastic, but 
All right, we'll put the batteries and stuff in there just a little bit later, but you kind of get the idea here. And this is the wall adapter here, and we'll obviously box up, uh, put it, put the, uh, set it up here with the HDMI cable, which well, we'll just rip that package out real quick too. Probably it's just nothing but a simple HDMI cable. But this is just the one they recommend. Boom. Simple enough. It is Amazon branded. It says high speed with Ethernet, so it does have okay, so it does have uh, Ethernet capabilities with the HDMI as well too and it's high speed, I think it's a 3D and stuff like that when I remember buying it online, but simple right there. All right, let's see, let's take a look at also what we have here. Let's take a look at the fire controller. This is gonna be the gaming controller that you're gonna be able to use with it. It doesn't come with it standard, it's separate cost. It's about $39.99 uh, for it. Let's go ahead and peel this off here. Bring it out here, cool. Looks like it takes AA batteries, simple enough. More Amazon, Amazon Basics, Amazon branded batteries as well too. I never actually knew they had their own branded batteries and such. All right. Some guides on how to connect to your Kindle Fire. That's nice. Kindle, no, sorry, not Kindle Fire, Amazon Fire TV. Getting things so confused here. They're using Fire and I'm still saying Kindle Fire and all that sort of stuff, so. But, <laughs> go ahead and take this off right here. All right, so we have the game controller. She feels pretty good in the hand. It reminds me of the actually the, the sort of the Wii, uh, the Wii Pro controller. Kind of reminds me of that a little bit here. Looks like you have Y, X, A, B. Uh, looks like you have your menu controls there. Looks like you have sort of a home button. You have two analog sticks, a D button, D pad. All right, it's pretty interesting and cool. You have triggers here on the back as well too. It's like you have, yep. Yeah, L R1, R R1, R2, L1, L2, okay. Uh, looks like there's maybe a little battery indicator there at the top, battery door here on the back. The back sort of reminds me of sort of a little bit of how the Xbox uh, controller is. All right, and then you have media play controls right here at the bottom. So you can see you have uh, play uh, back and, and, and play reverse and fast forward right there at the bottom. All right, and it matches the aesthetics too with the with the Kindle Fire. Let's see if I can get them both in the shot decently. There we go, you can see it matches up there pretty nicely. So let's go ahead and get these two set up here. We're gonna get both the uh, Fire TV and the controller set up. Let's go ahead and walk through that process and see what that's all about. Okay, we have our Fire TV plugged in here. I have it plugged in via HDMI and I actually, for the sake of this video, I actually plugged it in via Ethernet instead of doing Wi-Fi for this, just to make things just a little bit faster. So uh, let's go ahead and hit the uh, uh, remote, the remotes right here, I got it in my hand, you can see there. Let's go ahead and hit uh, the play button to start off. Oh, it's restarting, interesting. Oh, it's back up, that was a fast restart. Get the Amazon logo. Searching for signal again. Do, 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 do. All right, installing the latest software. So it looks like when you first plug it in, you are gonna have to do some updates. So it looks like it's gonna get any updates that have been sort of pushed out there. And it looks like it's gonna automatically do it. So we'll let this update sort of push through. And if it takes a little long, we're gonna go ahead and skip past it and uh, get on to the next step here. Hello, and welcome to your new Amazon Fire TV. We wanna make sure that you get the most out of your new streaming media player. So we're going to take a quick tour together that will teach you all about your Fire TV. Fire TV lets you stream a huge amount of entertainment. And the Amazon Fire TV remote lets you access... Okay, so we're here after the software installing. You saw just a little bit of what they do right after the install uh, of the update. They actually have sort of this... Um, interactive guide that sort of teaches you sort of what the Kindle Fire can do and such. I didn't play the whole thing, of course, yet because it's a little long here. I didn't want to put that all into the video. So we're here at the point right after that video plays. And this is where it's going to ask us here, Amazon Fire TV is designed with kids and parents in mind. Do you need to enable parental controls? Uh, no, we don't here in this household. So we're going to go ahead and no. And here we are right into the interface. All right, pretty cool. Let's see. We can navigate around. Pretty Pretty simple. It's actually pretty fast and the interface seems pretty basic. Let's take a look at each uh, section here. You have voice search, home, movies, TV, you have your watch list. This my little cousin was watching the Power Rangers and Captain America apparently. <laughs> Video library, games, apps, photos, settings. All right, pretty simple there. Let's take a look. It's like it's already, uh, since I ordered it, maybe it's already connected to my account. Let's do, just try the voice search here. Let's look for something pretty cool. Let's see. What do a lot of the ladies like? Uh, 
what is it? Uh, scandal? I don't know if scandal's on here, but let's try it. Scandal. Oh, there it is. And, oh, wow, that was pretty fast, and it's right here and available. Let's go ahead and click on it. All right, it looks like you could buy these episodes, and you can see there they have like a little graphic in the back. Oh, boy. Buy HD for $2.99. Oh, okay. So you can buy these as single episodes, or you can buy an entire season. All right, interesting. Let's go ahead and hit back out of here. Let's uh, look at something else. Let's see what we can find here. Um, well, we have some Watch Now stuff, so we can watch Valkyrie, The English Patient, Scary Movie 3. Oh, that's cool. So let's look at uh, The English Patient. Let me tap there. We can, okay, we can watch now on Amazon Prime. You can rent, you can buy. Add the watch list, watch trailer, more ways to watch. All right, cool. And this looks like it gives you information. Oh, information about the cast via IMDb. And it looks like it gives you titles with like uh, actors within it. So it looks like it relates it. And it's actually very fast um, as it's going through this interface here. I'm actually pretty shocked here. All right. William Dafoe. If we click on William Dafoe, it gives you more of his uh, biography, what he's known for. And it gives you the, the films that he's in. All right. Nice. That's actually pretty good. Now, I like how fast it is. It really is pretty fast and responsive. Um, so far, it's the fastest I've seen an in interface like this before. All right, let's head back out. Let's see what we can see here. Um, maybe we'll still fire up a video here. Let's see. We have Catching Fire. Let's see. Is that available? Yeah, it's available to rent. We can watch the trailer of it real quickly. Just, just a little, little bit of it. Not too much. Wow, that's instant. That's very, very instant. Granted, I have this plugged in and I, and I don't have it on Wi-Fi. I don't have it on a Wi-Fi. I have this plugged in right into my um, into my router, but that was very, very instant. Let's go back here. Let's try. Um, let's try another one. Let's try. Let's try uh, Gravity. So you can watch the trailer of Gravity. All right, instant again. It looks like we can fast forward, rewind. Play, pause, we go back out. I don't know if we go back in, we'll start at the same spot. Nope, start over again. Probably remember your, your spot, probably if you watched a full movie. Oh, cool. All right. It looks like you have all these sections and stuff. Let's, let's actually try to plug in the controller here. So I know what the controller, I think what we're supposed to do here is actually hold down the, um, Hold down the home button for five seconds and I'll actually do the, uh, we'll bring up the controller here. Let's see here. We can probably link it. Let's try that again. Oh, we have to hold on a controller, whoops. And all right. And it starts to do this when you, when you see the controller starts to blink there at the front. And uh, open settings and Bluetooth, so it's connected via Bluetooth. So basically, we're going to do a Bluetooth pairing with the controller here. Hit settings, controllers, Bluetooth game pads. So maybe it'll connect to some other ones. Oh, it looks like it can. Oh, battery. Oh, it's already connected. Wow, that's already connected here. I'm actually controlling it now through here on the controller. Okay, nice. see here, uh, Pawn Star. Oh, you can just control everything right through. Let's try and grab a game. I don't know if I have any on here. Let's uh, Sub-Zero, maybe not the game. Oh, it's downloading right now. All right, we'll let that download real quick. Control and enabled favorites. If they sex, hard lines, a walking dead, sound like the hedgehog. All right, you can buy now. I have 1500 coins I could use. Okay, so I can buy that or 299 coins. All right. Hit back out of here. I know this video is running a little long. I'm just kind of discovering it along with you guys here as well too. Uh, I can't wait to really fully dive into this because this is pretty. All right, await costly cartridge. Press to change your gamepad profile, game circle profile. Change your nickname. Oh, I can change my nickname. Oh, that's cool. I can change my uh, avatar. Oh, no, nice. Maybe the cool guy here. And I can change that a little bit later, I guess. Let's see, it's still downloading that game. All right. 
Let's see. We have Minecraft right here, Pocket Edition. Six ninety nine or six coins, okay. Six nine six hundred and ninety nine coins or six dollars and ninety nine cents. So it looks like it's a, a dollar or a cent per coin, I suppose I suppose with this. You have the Walking Dead. Asphalt, Tide, Game of Life. Let's see, cool stuff. Oh, this game's free. Let's just try and download this one as well too. Riptide GP2. We'll let that download. We'll try to get a quick game in here if we can of something here just to see how the controller works. Oh, download it fast. That downloaded fast and it's installing as we speak. And oh, let's open it. Give it a shot here. Oh, wow, fast right into it. Vector unit. Riptide 2. Alright, looks like it has a game tab there. You can just barely see the orange bars. I'll yeah, worry about this later. Uh, tap to start, so this is obviously probably still more for an Android device. Let's go ahead and continue. Right. This game looks pretty good, wow. I have no idea what I'm doing. Use a left thumbstick to steer. Oh, wow, it looks really good. Jump right into it here. This is your boost meter. There I'm going. Nice. Try to hit try to hit the bricks. The left trigger on your gamepad. Okay. Ah. See if we can do a lap here. Can I build my boost back up? Okay. Grab and perform. Grab air and perform stunts for you boost. Okay. Ah, nice. Okay, you can see this. Cool. All right, let's just guess it was a quick tutorial. And we got a quick idea of how that goes. So let's see if we can back out here. And we get, looks like we get uh, achievements as well too. Boom, all right. All right. Game details, reviews, similar games. Alright, it's pretty awesome actually here. So, alright, I think we've done our sort of our full, our hands on it. Most of what we can do here with the uh, the Kindle, I mean, excuse me, not the Kindle, but the Amazon Fire TV. It's very impressive so far, I have to say. It's um, the interface is really slick, really fast. Loading times are really fast. Getting things are really fast. It's organized very, very well. We're going to take some time and obviously go through here and definitely review it for you and give you our final thoughts on it. And you can best basically check that out be, by being sure you subscribe to our YouTube page here. Definitely subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, of course. <laughs> follow us on our uh, follow us on all other social networks, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Link to those in the description. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And so this is our Amazon Fire TV and Fire TV controller unboxing setup, first impressions, and sort of getting an idea of what this really is all about so far. And we can't wait to give you a full review of it. So this is Bowen from BW1.com. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition. Thanks for watching.